Major General Sanjay Mastin. First of all, uh, my colleague uh, Sanjay, your namesake, was talking about the kind of warmth that the French administration has in fact lent to Prime Minister Narendra Modi. Her, uh, his uh, France uh, counterpart, Ms. Bourne, was there at the airport to receive him personally. What does one make of that warm gesture? Yeah, definitely, Greha. Uh, one can make out of the warm gesture that uh, Prime Minister Modi is a very respected leader and he has a global standing. In mm -hmm. fact, he is the number one global player today or a leader. So that is uh, the importance he has. And obviously, they have, uh, France has also seen what kind of uh, super honor was bestowed on our Prime Minister during his visit to United States recently. It was a proper state uh, visit organized by the President of uh, United States. Mm -hmm. And uh, coming on to the uh, international uh, standing of India, Today, we are the leaders of the Global South. We are a bridge between the Global North and between the Global South. We are a partner. Uh, we are a country. Today, we are heard by everyone. India is the only unique country in the entire globe which everyone would like to talk to. There are countries who are isolated. Look at uh, authoritative, uh, authoritarian uh, rule of ch China. No one wants to do any trade, etc. with them. Today, everyone, in every manner, whether it is culture, trade, economics, defense india is number one and therefore everyone in the globe is uh, uh, planning to do everything with india including you know the arab world the african world everywhere today we have such a great standing in the entire globe so india's importance has increased today india uh, in this multilateral uh, world we are yet maintaining a strategic autonomy yes so keeping all this in mind I think the gesture which the French government has given by the Prime Minister receiving them, uh, receiving our Prime Minister, mm -hmm. and today there's a private dinner uh, being hosted by President Macron. Tomorrow there is the state banquet, and uh, all the uh, bilateral and uh, other meetings would be done uh, with the Prime Minister. And tomorrow he will be attending the Bastille Parade as the mm -hmm. chief guest, which is a great honor. And not only that, the Indian Armed Forces from the Indian Army, the Air Force, and Navy. We are going to participate along with the naval, uh, along with the army band. So this is a rare honor and three Rafale aircraft, mm. uh, which will be piloted by <laughs> Indian Air Force pilots. Mm. I think that's a unique honor. So this shows that India today is a global player mm. and the political leadership and uh, our Indian diaspora also has a tremendous role. Mm. And not only that, the entire uh, various, uh, I would say, natural power of a country, whether it is defense, whether it is economy, Everything, culture, soft power, everything is making an impact on the world. And today, whole world respects India. And I think uh, that is why we are uh, getting the kind of applause everywhere. And uh, I think uh, France is a country which is uh, always taking a lead role in the UNFC uh, that uh, India needs to be immediately inducted into the UNFC as a permanent uh, member. Mm. And I think uh, to sum it up, it is a... Uh, political will, the political leadership, entire uh, Indian effort and the youth of India, the IT power, Absolutely. the technical mind of a uh, youth, mm. everyone is getting attracted to India mm. and therefore everyone wants to do everything with India more jointly in terms of co-production, co-designing, co-development, uh, uh, transfer of you know, technology. Mr. Mason, so uh, Major General Mason, what you've also uh, touched upon is uh, the crucial Rafal M deals. Uh, let me actually... Uh, take this opportunity to welcome Mr. G. Parthasarthi, who is a former diplomat also on the broadcast. And Mr. Parthasarthi, I'd like uh, you to, in fact, throw light on how did this deal come about and how important is this one for India? Well, let me just say that I can. I have been at least with two past prime ministers uh, on visits to France. Mm. And I have never quite seen the sort of reception which has mm. now been accorded to Mr. Modi in this mm. visit. So I think the the, uh, the, the fact of the matter is that uh, in terms of importance attached to India, mm. uh, in terms of what France looks forward to, mm. and in terms of what they're prepared to do to us, uh, I, do for us, I think there is a, a substantive movement forward. And the Prime Minister's visit, uh, uh, the very fact that he has a personal uh, uh, rapport with uh, uh, President Macron mm. uh, has added to this. Uh, now, uh, coming uh, to the substance of this visit, the fact of the matter is we look forward to working very closely with France in the coming G50 meeting. 
uh, which is which we are hosting in Delhi. It's a yes. D50 summit. But as I said, uh, I've seen past visits in France, participated in them. This is unique, the way President Macron is personally reaching out yeah, to no, an no, Indian no, Prime Minister. No, I, I find no, this no, really no, unique. No, but having said that, I mm. think we should also concentrate on substance mm. instead of appearances in mere protocol. Mm. The fact of the matter is that France has been a reliable supplier of weapons. I recall when I was in the army in 65, mm. uh, we were using French AMX tanks mm. in the Trump sector. Mm. Uh, therefore, thereafter, in, 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 a, in a diplomatic context, when it comes to supply of weapons, France has been way ahead in, in terms of technology, spares, and, second, uh, and so on. Mm. Uh, secondly, the fa fact of the matter, matter, matter is that the rapport has gone beyond that. Mm. Uh, in political terms, France was one of the countries in the West when the Americans and Chinese were opposed to us, which backed us mm. uh, to the hilt during the 71 conflict. And that sort of a relationship with India has now been taken to a new level. Because, uh, as I said, uh, now we are talking of, yes, fighter jets. We've been receiving fighter jets from the Messiers in the 1950s from France. Mm. But they're giving us their best. Mm. And they're giving, uh, giving, it, giving the fighter jets to us, not just for aerial combat, but also for taking off from our aircraft carrier. Mm. I think this is the best aircraft carrier we can get. And this has been new. And, and the sort of relationship which uh, President Macron has established with uh, Prime Minister Modi is something I haven't seen in the past between the leaders of the two countries. Okay. The, we'll, uh, what we are we going to are do, Mr. G. Parthasarthi, what Mr. we are going to do is also talk further about the defense deal. But let me now take this opportunity to bring in Munira into this discussion because there is a huge outreach that the Prime Minister is going to be making in France uh, with the Bora Muslim community. And that also becomes an important and underlined aspect of this visit. Uh, Munira, how do you see that happening considering... Uh, you know, there's a huge Muslim population as far as uh, France is concerned, but especially meeting with the Bora community stakeholders. How do you see this move? It's a very proud uh, moment. It's a very proud moment uh, for all the Indian origins here and especially for the Daudi Bohra community mm. living here in France. Uh, all of us are here today uh, to welcome wholeheartedly our Dear Prime Minister, mm. um, as we all know, uh, uh, there is a very warm relationship uh, that the community shares with uh, our Prime Minister, and um, we want to uh, show here in France as well, the community is one community with equal support and love to him. Uh, in fact, I'm also here, um, uh, not just as a patriotic Indian, uh, not just as a loyal resident of France, uh, you know, a country which is so warm and beautiful, but also as a member of Dawadi Bahra community. Mm. Um, and uh, we look forward to seeing him soon. In fact, I've just arrived at the venue last mm. uh, and we look forward to seeing him and welcoming him and uh, passing the message from our community. Okay. Uh, overall, it's, it's a great moment. It's a proud moment. And mm. as always, as all over the world, you know, globally, uh, we are there to show our uh, uh, warm and uh, support. And uh, likewise, we are here in France. It's nonetheless. Okay. So it's a great moment. All right. And what's better moment going back than, to the defense? Uh,